I'm kind of hungry for ice cream. And I have a funny ice cream prank. Sure, I'll get you some ice cream. Here you go. Why, thank you. Hey, no fair, we also want a big ice cream. Okay, okay. How about I take the small ice creams and you get the big one? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait to try it. Eh? Ah, this isn't a real ice cream. It's made from plastic. <laughs> that was funny. I'm going to give them two new ice creams. Ice cream! So we are doing a speed drawing challenge. Ready? Go! Oof. My sister is drawing much, much faster than me. She'll win the challenge for sure. Look, she is halfway finished already. Hmm, I have an idea. Go big or go home. That's what I say. Ah, oh, I'm finished. What? How come you finished so quickly? Oh, just luck, I guess. <laughs> Do you know what's going on here? Who is up for some marshmallows? Ooh, me, me, me. I love marshmallows. I'm gonna have mine with ketchup. Ketchup? I've never tried that before. Ah, the ketchup won't come out of the bottle. And the marshmallow is too big to go inside the bottle. <laughs> I have an idea for a prank. Say, let me help you with the ketchup. That is a huge bottle. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh no, it fell inside. <laughs> let us help you. Here you go. Hmm, super good. Well, it's not the worst I've ever tasted. How about you? No way, am I trying that? So which prank do you like the best? Let us know in the comments. Bye-bye. Hey guys, today we are doing the paint each other challenge. Since we both love painting, we thought it would be fun to make a portrait of each other. You will get to see the progress, but we won't see each other's paintings until the big reveal at the end. So let's get started. First, we'll sketch out the portraits with a pencil. I wonder what your painting looks like. Hey, just have to wait. There, my drawing is finished. Now I can start painting. Ooh, it's a bit cold in here. I'll put on my scarf. Hmm, what a good idea she has. But my drawing was finished. Oh well, I guess the scarf will just make the portrait more beautiful in the end. Hmm, I wonder if her hair is the correct length. I think I'll just tweak it a tiny bit. Whoops, I forgot to add her lashes to my drawing. All done. Me too. Hmm, I wonder how her drawing turned out. Ah, no peeking. Now it's time for painting. Ooh, let's hope I get her hair color the correct shade of red. Here goes. Do you think she will like my portrait? Hmm, I'm sure her painting is more beautiful than mine. Maybe I could just take a sneak peek. Hey, no peeking, more painting. Aw. The only thing left is the eyelashes. I just hope I get them right. I think I did it. Almost finished now. Whoops, I got paint on my cheek. Now, where is that mirror? Ah, I found it. 
At least the paint goes easily away. Wait a second. What do you think about this? Hey! Well, if she can change her look, so can I. So, what do you think of our flowers? Now we just have to add them to our paintings. Oof, this is harder than I thought. There, finished. What do you think? Good, bad, just so-so? It's time for the big reveal. I'll go first. <gasps> wow, it, you did a great job. I love the color of my hair and the red scarf is adorable. But now it's my turn. Oh, I love it. Wow, I love what you did with my eyes. And your colors are spot on. Thank you very much. Thank you too. But now it's time for you to tell us what you think. Which one is your favorite? I think this one is really good. And I think this one is very special. This one or that one? What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching our challenge. Until next time. Being creative with our hair can be exciting and fun. Here are eight hair hacks every girl should know. I feel like tying my hair up, but I can't find my bun shape or hair ring. Luckily, I know how to use a sock and get the same effect. Cut off the toe of the sock. Then I roll it into a bun. I tie my hair where I want my bun to be. I then roll my hair onto the sock. And voila! A perfect hair bun. Hmm, how about adding a flower? Now it is perfect. Add some hairspray so the bun stays in place. You can also use bobby pins. Ah, relaxing under a warm blanket feels so good when it's cold outside. Oh, oh, looks like someone had a bad case of static hair. There is an easy hack for that. First, you need a brush. And a dryer sheet. Pierce the dryer sheet through your brush. Now comb your hair. The dryer sheet will remove the static from your hair in one, two, three. Good job. I'm trying to read, but my hair keeps getting in my face. I know, I'll tie up my hair with a clip. That should do it. Oof, the hair clip keeps slipping off my hair. I know what I'll do. I'll use my glue gun to add grip to my hair clip. Just add some glue to the teeth of your hair clip. Look, the clip stays on my hair. Now I can get back to my magazine. My friend thinks her hair looks flat on top. She decides to tease her hair to create some volume. However, teasing your hair with a brush or a comb can damage your hair. So, she uses a toothbrush instead. Just back comb your hair and away you go. Targeted volume where you want it. I decided to put my hair in a ponytail, but it keeps falling and looking saggy. I wish I knew how to get a perfect ponytail. I asked my friend to help me. She knows a simple trick to take my hair to a new level. She sticks bobby pins vertically underneath my ponytail through my hair tie. Wow, it works like magic.
Did you wish you had longer, healthier looking hair? Blow dry your hair like a pro. Drying your hair upside down increases circulation to your scalp, which in return stimulates hair growth and healthy looking hair. Not to mention, gives you loads of volume. I can't wait to try this hack. My friend has just made a French braid on herself. Isn't it cute? But she thinks it's too small and would like some more volume. Luckily, I know how to do that. To make a French braid seem fuller, gently pull out each ends of the braid. There! Wow, an instantly larger and fuller looking braid. My friend approves. Making a braid requires separating your hair into three sections. But wait, my friend says she can make a braid using only two sections. How is that possible? I guess we will find out. She splits my hair in two parts, then makes a hole in one part and slides the other through the hole. Then repeat. Wow, it works. I am impressed. Cool, right? 